stylers welcome back to my channel for another video for valentine's day i want to do something really special for you guys i picked up this oversized man's blazer from the thrift store if you guys haven't seen my live come thrift with me that will be linked below i picked up this oversized man's blazer and i knew immediately when i saw it what i want to do with it and i want to do this beautiful um blazer dress that is perfect for valentine's day and going right into spring so as you can see, I tried the blazer. Oh, it is quite oversized. The sleeves are entirely too long and the shoulders are too too huge, making me look boxy and just unflattering. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the sleeves and I have to start by removing the lining of the sleeves. So you're going to get some montage of me um, seam ripping. That's always fun. as well as the shoulder pads this blazer was so well made I've never taken apart a tailored piece before and I was completely scared after removing the sleeves and the shoulder pads I retried on the blazer just so I could mark exactly where I need to take it in I first initially took it in at the shoulders but I do go back later and I remove those darts. So I inserted some darts at the sides and again, like I said, at the shoulders. And I marked that all with chalk. And then I had my mom help me do some longhand stitch where, where you stitch loosely with just basic needle and thread. So that I could bring it in on, like I said, the sides and the shoulders. I did want to at first initially put some darts in at the bust. But because the blazer had a pocket at the bust, I didn't want the dark to take into the blazer. So as you can see, I, my mom helped me with the long hand stitch. And like I said, it's basically just showing sewing loosely with needle and thread. I did that at the shoulders as well as the side seams. You can see me here. I go in with my marking chalk and just to mark that at pen so that everything is flat. And that I get all of the layers of the blazer. This thing was thick, insulated. Like it was a masterpiece. I felt sacrilegious for taking it apart. And I just used my chalk just to mark it so that I could be able to stitch with the sewing, with the sewing machine in a straight line. And again, I take my um, pins to just hold it down so that the fabric doesn't move against itself. And like I said, I did put darts at the shoulders as, as well as the side seams underneath the arms. But I do go back and I remove those darts at the shoulder. Then I take a blazer that I like the fit of and I use that to measure and mark how wide the shoulder should be. Again, I take, I take my marking chalk and then I just do like a little half circle um, at the very top of the shoulders and I cut that away. Cutting off the excess before I go in and um, stitch up the darts. And then I go ahead and I remove the thread from the long hand stitch. This is a very good method. It's very old school. My mom taught me basically just sewing, loosely sewing the garment together just so you can see how it looks on you and fits. 
before you permanently sew it and then you can't seam rip, you know, smaller stitches. Um, again, as you can see me here, I do trim away the excess material from the shoulders because it was still a little bit too wide. I just take this on and off and constantly just measure it on myself to I like the final look and fit. <music> Lastly, I, I am working on the sleeves. I remove the lining from the actual sleeve itself. And then I seam whip it open um, down the top, well, the bottom seam of the sleeve. And I've already measured it on my arm. Um, again, my mom helped me with marking it with chalk. And I'm going to use the one that I've already marked. And I'm going to use that to measure out the second um, sleeve. And then I just pin that in place so that I can go and do a stay stitch down the length of the sleeve. And I try this on one more time before reattaching it to the actual blazer so that I know I have enough room and if I need to take it in or let it out at any part. So reattaching the sleeve to the blazer was <sighs> the most epic of all epicness. The struggle was real. Blazer, right sides together. That's how you insert sleeves. And then I take my time and I pin it around the circumference of the around the armhole as I do it with the first layer I try to get as much as installation as possible um, I don't attach the lining although I try to go back and reattach the lining to the sleeve which is an epic fail but if in retrospect I will probably go back and attach the lining and the outside of the blazer and everything all together folding over the lining to hide away those raw edges because reattaching the lining to the sleeves was an epic fail. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys me taking apart the, doing the same thing I did with the sleeves with the, doing the same thing I did with the sleeves of the blazer. I do the same thing with the lining. I seam ripped them up the side, measuring out, mark it, marking the line of where I'm taking them in. And then I take that onto my sewing machine, pinning it up, take that to my sewing machine and sewing up the side seams of the lining. I Now you can see me here um, cutting away all of the excess fabric that um, that I had to get all of the excess fabric for me taking in the sleeves and you can see me here trying to reattach the lining sleeve to the blazer. And then like I said I tried to re um, sew together the lining and the sleeves but that was an epic fail because once the sleeves are attached to the actual jacket you will, it's hard to sew together one and two if you do sew it together you're going to get that seam on the outside of the sleeve that you now I'm going to replace the two plain dull buttons that come with the blazer and I'm going to replace them with these pretty gold um, buttons that have like these little crystals inside of them real cute so it catches the light 
I put the blazer on overlapping it so that it kind of overlay kind of overlay so it could be more closed like an actual blazer dress and I just marked that with some marking chalk and I'm going to hand sew in these new buttons so that I can overlap it so I can wear it like an actual dress. And with that stylers, I hem the sleeves, do a nice press on the cuff of the sleeve so it's nice and clean. And with that, you're done. I'm not showing you guys a complete finished look because coming in a few days is a very special treat. I am going to do a holiday style book. So you guys stay tuned for that. And with that... I am done, guys. You guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Mm -hmm.